Hello and welcome back to the lecture of time series econometrics. So in the previous few lectures we have been discussing about the forecasting techniques and in this lecture we are going to continue with that. So here what we are going to do is we are going to actually show uh, using R how to uh, do exponential smoothing using some data set. Okay? And our job here is basically we will import a data set which is uh, rice production data and I have 14 period rice production data. So if I just show you the data set, it's um, this. I have this rice production data for 14 period. I also had some weights, but that is not needed. I use these weights for some weighted moving average estimation. So using this data, what I do here is I actually um, I actually uh, plot the, I um, actually forecast the uh, forecast the uh, series using exponential smoothing, and for that I use a simple but very useful command SES, which uh, means uh, simple exponential smoothing. And for that I need to install some package. For to use SES command, I need to install the forecast package. So let me do that. And I actually have the package uh, installed in my system, so I don't need to do it again. And then I can, I have to update it to the library. So I update it. Okay. So then I will run this command. Let's see what happens. So here you see that we, what you are plotting is uh, the basically rice production year to year and I am using alpha value is equal to 0.2 which is my smoothing constant. Now my smoothing constant is normally uh, ranges between 0.1 to 0.3 so I can very well choose 0.2. So you can basically do a trial and error and there is a way to also understand wh whether it is correct or not. Uh, we'll see it later. Uh, here okay so once we have this um, okay so we have some warning message but there is nothing to worry about it basically tells that some other parameters we could have in included, but no need. We just basically need to understand uh, what are the basic components of an exponential smoothing and how it works. So let me uh, then print the forecast values. Okay, let me print the forecast values, and here I get the forecast values. So let me show you how it looks like. So you you will see that uh, all the forecast values say for 24 periods ahead the forecast values it has taken these are all the same values okay uh 2763.336 some three, three, that is basically the forecast value and that is basically the same forecast value for all the different periods and there are a couple of more things uh, and i'm just going to explain this uh, but before that let me plot the plot the graph of exponential smoothing so after after you do the forecasting how that graph looks like uh, all right and one more thing is we can sometime include like the base level is zero equal to null if you do it it's good otherwise it will automatically assume that uh, zero is null so you will see that there is no difference between these two common line they're basically the same uh, so the important part is basically to plot the uh, plot the graph for uh, you know for the you know the, for the forecasting using exponential smoothing. Okay, so that's the common plot exponential. You know, uh, plot uh, yeah. Basically, my uh, of, I take the whole uh, equation for exponential smoothing and I plot it, and I define the main, which is the main text, and I define my x level and y level. Okay. So um, let me just run this and let us see what happens. It's actually, what is it? Um, something is wrong. Plot, uh, just a second, plot x. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have this, okay. I shouldn't have this, okay. Now it should be fine. Okay, so actually I plotted it already. So uh, yeah, let me just actually delete this and let me just delete this and then again run it so that you can see that this is basically this uh, and this zigzag line that you see that is from the actual data 
that is the actual data that 14 period data that I have provided so you can see from 1 to 14 period it is there and then the blue line the horizontal blue line basically is the forecast value which is the value we have already seen some 2763 right 0.336 so that's the value we will have constant value across the blue line um, and the reason behind having this constant value is that when we are exponential smoothing is simply just like a moving average method right simple moving average to weighted average method moving average method and exponential smoothing is a part of is a type of weighted moving average method and we remember that when you plot a simple moving average or weighted moving average you basically do not have any trend or seasonality in the plotted data and exactly that is what we see here we are guess basically getting a level here right we basically get a level and this level values are constant this the value that we get is constant now there are two more things one is that there is a, a deep gray zone and there is a light gray zone so what these are basically uh, these are the confidence intervals and this confidence intervals you have 80 percent confidence interval and where you have a value basically the uh, lower lower um, um, control line or lower limit and there is an upper control line or upper limit and then similarly you have a 95 percent uh, confidence interval so you have both uh, you know this uh, control lines are drawn on both side of the blue line uh, so 85 per 80 percent would be the wider one and the 95 percent would be the narrower one right so that's what basically the uh, uh, when that is basically how the exponential smoothing forecasting values are being plotted and i have added a material here uh, and this material is really good this is uh, otexts.com it's uh, it has provided pretty much in detail about these techniques and codes so I would recommend you to actually look into that so with this I end this lecture here in the next we are going to see some interesting cases where I have trained seasonality in the data and still I do plot the exponential smoothing